Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. And I gotta say, this Raw was meh at best to me uh, tonight. Uh, considering they were overseas, they were, they were in Manchester, and the show was pre-taped, so you kind of probably got the results uh, earlier uh, today, and uh, there was a spoiler that uh, WWE sent out on social media, uh, which I'll get to that, but uh, Raw and SmackDown this week, uh, they're going to be pre-taped because, of course, they're in Manchester, so, but, as I said, to me, tonight's Raw was meh at best, in my opinion. Uh, the show opened up with, uh, they did a, uh, WWE did a message about uh, the tragedy that happened in Texas where uh, this piece of shit uh, guy uh, killed uh, 26 people and, you know, he injured like 24 people uh, where he went into a church and then just started uh, killing and injuring these people there. Uh, really, really horrible. Uh, really, really terrible uh, for you know, down there in uh, Texas, and, you know, they said it's, it's the deadliest, you know, mass shooting in uh, Texas history, which, it's, re it's really a shame how, you know, you're hearing all this bad stuff, it's like, every week you're hearing uh, shit happening, uh, bad things happening, so, but, just really, really terrible uh, what happened down there in Texas. So they, uh, they had, you know, they started the show with that, uh, that message. And then, uh, we went to, uh, Miz TV. Uh, Miz was in there, of course, with, uh, his Miz Taraj, you know, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. And Miz says that he had a message for Baron Corbin, uh, saying to him that Survivor Series, he better bring his A game. And that he's going to make him and the United States title relevant. Uh, because apparently they were going back and forth uh, on social media. And Baron Corbin was talking about uh, Maurice. And, you know, he's of course talking about Mrs. Uh, unborn, uh, you know, girl that, you know, he's going to be a father to. So, but... Pretty much basically was Baron Corbin just talking shit about Miz on uh, social media. And then Miz introduces his guest, uh, who is uh, the GM and the team captain at you know of their team at Survivor Series. Of course, that's Kurt Angle. And you know, pretty much, you know, they were arguing back and forth through the uh, the segment. Uh, you know, Kurt ends up saying to Miz that Raw has the best show. And the best fans. And he goes on to say that SmackDown will always be the B show. And he goes on to say that it's a virus series. He's going to prove uh, that. Uh, considering, you know, if Team Raw beats uh, Team SmackDown. And Miz says, you know, he wouldn't be surprised if SmackDown comes tonight. And Kurt ends up uh, apologizing to Daniel Bryan for Kane's attack last week. You know, he goes on to say that he wasn't behind it. And pretty much uh, in the segment, Miz, Miz was just showing uh, clips of uh, Kurt Angle. You know, like, uh, you know, when uh, he had that segment with Stephanie. And then, you know, they played the footage of when Daniel Bryan got attacked by Kane last week. So it was pretty much that. And then we see Miz get pissed off at Kurt because, you know... He, who tells him, you know, last week he was unprepared uh, for his Intercontinental uh, title match. And Miz says to Kurt that Axel deserve that Curtis Axel deserves more, an apology more than Daniel Bryan. And then Kurt says that he had to put uh, Strowman on Team Raw to do uh, Strowman a favor. And he then announces... Uh, it's going to be Strowman versus Miz tonight. So, and uh, pretty much that was the uh, the segment. But it was 
you know, pretty, uh, it was a pretty decent, uh, you know, Miz TV, uh, was all right, but, you know, nothing spectacular or anything. And then we got to the first match, uh, for, uh, tonight's Raw, and it was Jason Jordan versus Elias in the guitar on a pole match. Uh, this was just a stupid match. This was, this was a dumb match. This is something that you would see on Impact Wrestling. That's how shitty this match was. Uh, it was just very boring. The crowd wasn't behind it. Uh, pretty much, it was just uh, Jordan and Eli Jordan and Elias fighting to get the guitar off the pole. And we saw Elias retrieve it. Uh, and then, you know, he, Elias, you know, goes to try to hit uh, Jason Jordan. But, you know, Jason Jordan just uh, backs out, you know, just backs out of the way. And then uh, we see Jason Jordan pick up the guitar. And he hits uh, Elias with the guitar, which uh, the, the guitar, you know, hitting Elias. <laughs> it sounded really funny uh, to me. Uh, just the sound that it made when it was, you know, broken. Uh, to me, it was to me it was just funny though. And pretty much, basically, when Jason Jordan hit Elias with the guitar and broke it, he pretty much won the match. So, but it was just a stupid match. Uh, moving on from that, uh, we saw after that we had Cesaro and Sheamus approach Kurt Angle. Kurt tells uh, both of them that if they want an opportunity at Survivor Series, you know, they would have to man up. And Cesaro and Sheamus say they want to represent against the tag team champions. And Kurt tells them to prove it tonight. Uh, so tonight it's going to be Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose versus Cesaro and Sheamus for the Raw Tag Team Championships. So pretty much uh, that little backstage segment with them and then after that you had Oscar versus uh, a jobber uh, jobber uh, woman's uh, woman person named Stacy uh, Cotez I think that's how you pronounce uh, her last name but it was basically just a squash match you know trying to make Oscar look uh, more stronger so she could have so she could have competition uh, later on on the main roster uh, but it was it was you know if you look at it it's pretty much very bad booking for Oscar like they could have put her up against you know Mickey James or Dana Brooke or hell you know Nia Jax though but pretty much like I said this is just them building up Oscar making her look stronger so she could have competition later on on uh Raw on the, you know, main roster for Raw. So, but Oscar won the match, of course, with the Oscar lock. So, pretty much, basically, the match was just squash match. Trying to make Oscar, you know, look um, more competitive and more strong so she could have competition. And then after that, we saw Alicia Fox. After the match, Alicia Fox says, you know, that Asuka is going to be another member for Team Raw for the women's. So that's uh, that's pretty awesome. So uh, then after that, we had Tyus O'Neill and Apollo Crews uh, being interviewed. Uh, Tyus says, you know, last week he had his eyes uh, set on helping Apollo and that tonight he says, you know, Samoa Joe, Samoa Joe will be in trouble So there's a little interview with them and Then uh, It was originally supposed to be of course Samoa Joe versus uh, Tyus O'Neill and as Tyus and Apollo came out we just see Joe attack uh, them from behind both of them from behind uh, Joe locks in the uh, coquina clutch on Apollo. Then uh, he makes his way, Joe makes his way into the ring. He gets on the mic and says, you know, if anyone stands, you know, in his way, he will put them down. And he tells anyone uh, in the back to come down 
and proved to you know stand against him. You know, he basically Joe issued a challenge uh, to any uh, body in the back. So out came uh, Finn Balor, uh, which uh, is awesome. Uh, this is going back to uh, you know their NXT days, you know NXT days when they were uh, both there, and uh, pretty much uh, they had a pretty uh, good match. I thought it was a pretty good match between Finn and uh, Joe, but uh, it was back and forth between them, and uh, ended uh, in a double count out uh, because. Uh, they were brawling outside, and, you know, the refs had to come out from the back and separate them. Kurt Angle also came out. Uh, Kurt ended up getting on the mic and said, you know, that Finn Balor and Samoa J and Joe are going to be on, you know, Team Raw. And that's, uh, that's really awesome. So, but now we have uh, for uh, Team Raw... Uh, so far, uh, which uh, we have, of course, Kurt Angle, the team captain. We have Strowman, Joe, and Finn. And another one uh, that I'm going to uh, talk about uh, when I get to it, uh, which uh, pretty pretty much uh, predictable that I knew uh, that was going to happen, but I'll get to that. So... Then after that, we had uh, we saw Miz backstage with uh, Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. You know they were just talking about, you know Bo was just talking about Braun Strowman. Uh, pretty much that was it was basically a little backstage thing with them. Then uh, we saw Jason Jordan and Kurt Angle backstage. Kurt Angle then chooses him. Uh, chooses Jason Jordan as the final member of Team Raw, which was predictable. So, uh, to go over it again, uh, for Team Raw, it's going to be uh, Kurt Angle, uh, the team captain, Strowman, Joe, Balor, and now uh, Jason Jordan. So, those are the uh, five uh, guys who are going to be on Team Raw. And uh, for SmackDown, we ha we got, of course, Shane as the captain, as the team captain. We got Orton, Bobby Roode, uh, Nakamura, and then another one that's to be decided, maybe, you know, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night. So SmackDown, Team SmackDown on the men's uh, only has one more uh, spot uh, for one superstar to be on uh to be part of the uh, the five on the uh, team SmackDown uh, team. So, yeah. and then uh, after that, we had uh, Bailey and Sasha Banks being interviewed. Bailey says, you know, Team SmackDown uh, will lose that Survivor Series, and Sasha says, you know, Alicia better put her and Bailey on Team Raw. You know, so, so it was just a little interview with uh, Bailey and Sasha. Then it, after that it was uh, Sasha Banks and Bailey versus Alicia Fox and Nia Jax, and pretty much this was basically you know your typical women's match. Uh, it was back and forth between uh, them. Uh, we saw Nia just you know taking out Bailey uh, once again. You know, uh, Bailey looking. Uh, week in the match, uh, which is sad for me to say, but uh, you know, you had Sasha, you know, taking out uh, Naya, you know, taking out Alicia, and uh, Sasha won the match. Uh, Sasha won the match for her and Bailey by applying the uh, the bank statement on Alicia Fox. So, and then you had after the match, Alicia got on the mic and says, you know. That Sasha is on Team Raw uh, for the women's so for the women's uh, five on five, and so uh, now uh, there's only got to be one more 
uh, woman uh, star uh, for uh, team for Team Raw on the women's, and pretty much wonder who that will be. So, but all in all, uh, Sasha and Sasha Bailey versus Alicia and Nia is your typical women's match. And then after that, you had Braun Strowman versus The Miz. Uh, pretty much, this was basically a uh, a squash match, uh, just to make Strowman look strong. Uh, you had at one point where uh, where Strowman uh, was outside and he uh, hit a right arm into uh, or right hand into Bo Dallas, and he heard the uh, he heard the the crack in uh, Bo's uh, in Bo's uh, face uh you heard it right there i was like oh shit because it was a little bit you you heard it and then you know you just had Strowman taking out uh curtis axel and uh pretty much uh it led to uh kane coming out uh kane came out and you know he started taking out he started taking out Strowman. Start, you know, taking out Strowman and, you know, laying some, you know, some right arms. He had uh, Strowman hit a run and power slam on Kane and led to, after that, you know, Kane just, you know, stood up and then Strowman just clotheslined Kane out of the ring and led to Miz and uh, Miz Taraj to beat down on Strowman. Uh, which failed, and then you had uh, Strowman then just hit Miz with a run and power slam. So to end it, so pretty much Strowman won the match uh, by DQ, by disqualification. So but all in all, it was just a uh, it was just a squash match uh, to make Strowman look uh, strong. So. But you know, pretty much uh, figured that Kane was going to come out to, uh, you know, to take out uh, Strowman. Then after that, you had uh, Renee Young interviewing uh, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose about heading into the match against Cesaro and Sheamus tonight for the uh, tag team titles. Dean says that, you know, they are going to, that him and Seth are going to take care of Cesaro and Sheamus. And, you know, they're going to take care of, you know, their own business. Seth says, you know, Team SmackDown is going to become Team Black and Blue at Survivor Series. And they, and he says also at Survivor Series, they're going to take down the Usos. And they say that uh, Cesaro and Sheamus are not going to win tonight. And that, you know, they are the real bar. So it was a pretty uh, cool interview with uh, Seth and Dean. Then uh, after that, we had Enzo Amore coming out, says that he's doing great and that the crowd should be thankful that, you know, he's there. And he says uh, that he is grateful that he has fans around the world, <laughs> which pretty much uh, he goes on later to say that he says that he ran Kalisto out of town and that he says and that he has to face Kalisto at Survivor Series. And uh, pretty much he was just, you know, just talking up a storm, Enzo. Uh, we we heard, uh, you know, Corey Gray say, oh, cut his mic. Oh, I'm going to go take a nap, <laughs> which was funny, though. Then we saw Kalisto come out. He ends up taking the chair and then just sits down uh, right there. And then a shocking uh, thing that happened. We hear uh, Pete Dunne's uh, music, uh, Pete Dunne, who is the... Uh, United Kingdom, the WWE United Kingdom champion. Uh, his music hits, and Kurt Angle ends up coming out and says that Enzo will be taking on uh, the Bruiserweight, uh, which they would call him, uh, Pete Dunn. And uh, that was really awesome. You know, Pete Dunn, first uh, time ever on Raw, uh, appearance on Raw, uh, because he's done. You know, the, uh, of course, the United Kingdom tournament when they had that. And, of course, uh, they had uh, the United Kingdom uh, 
stars uh, competing on NXT, uh, which I think it was this year. They put on a uh, they put on a really uh, good match uh, that was on uh, one NXT show, uh, which was uh, really awesome. But uh, anyways, it was Pete Dunne versus Enzo Amore, and this was, you know, of course, you know, Pete Dunne uh, just taking out Enzo, just laying Enzo out. Uh, really happy that uh, Pete Dunne uh, was, com was competing on uh, Raw tonight, and uh, Pete Dunne won the match uh, with uh, the uh, the bitter end on Enzo to score the win. And pretty much uh, one point in the match, Enzo uh, was uh, trying to cheat his way out of the match and win it, where he put both of his feet on uh, the ropes. But Kalisto uh, spotted it and said and told the ref, you know, oh, his foot's on the his feet are on the ropes, and that's when the ref uh, saw that both Enzo's feet were on the ropes. So, but all in all. It was, you know, fun. It was cool to see Pete Dunne uh, competing on Raw for the first time. So, but match-wise, it was really just uh, Pete Dunne just just being the hell out of uh, Enzo. Then uh, after that, we had Alexa Bliss being interviewed about her match at Survivor Series with Natalya. You know, Alexa goes on to say that Survivor Series, she's going to run circles around Natalia, And she goes on to say that there is only one goddess in the WWE, and that is her. So it was a pretty cool interview with Alexa. And then it was the main event, uh, which is, of course, uh, Cesaro and Sheamus versus Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose for the Raw Tag Team Championships. And this was a good main event. I really uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I was back and forth between them. Uh, it was a really awesome uh, match. Uh, we have one point where uh, you know where Dean does the uh, you know does his clothesline, and then you had Seth uh, kick. Uh, I think it was uh, Cesaro. I think it was uh, Cesaro. And. Uh, Towards the end of the match, uh, you had the New Day come out. Uh, they were in the crowd, and pretty much they were distracting, uh, pretty much uh, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. And we heard Xavier. You know, Xavier gets on the mic and says that Raw is the B show, and that they are here on Raw to spice it up. And you know, while they're talking, we see Kurt Angle and. Uh, some of the Raw locker room walking out. And New Day goes on to say, you know, prepare for Under Siege Part 2. And that's when we saw Kurt Angle and uh, the Raw roster come out. And, you know, pretty much they, the Raw roster were thinking that, oh, SmackDown uh, was here. And they pretty much go up through the crowd. And it eventually led to Sheamus bro kicking Seth Rollins. And uh, Cesaro and Sheamus picking up the win. And so now Cesaro and Sheamus are the new uh, Raw Tag Team Champions. Which kind of, uh, like I said, they spoiled it uh, earlier. Uh, saying that uh, Cesaro and Sheamus uh, are, the, uh, Raw, are the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Because uh, WWE stupidly uh, gave it away on uh, their social medias. So, but it's really, uh, you know, I'm like, all right, Cesaro and Sheamus, you know, they're the uh, Raw Tag Team Champions uh, once again. So, but all in all, it was a good main event. I uh, really enjoyed it. So, but, uh, yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's edition of Monday Night Raw. Thank you all for watching and be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And tomorrow I'm actually going to go see, um, actually going to see Thor uh, Ragnarok, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, Ragnarok. 
So it's going to be, the, this is the third uh, Thor movie. I have saw that it's been getting uh, really uh, good reviews. Uh, a lot of people say it's better than uh, the second film. But really happy to uh, check out the movie tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a SmackDown review tomorrow. Uh, you know, review, you know, the SmackDown uh, for tomorrow because... Like I said, uh, it's being pre-taped also. So, but uh, definitely uh, review uh, Thor uh, Ragnarok uh, when I uh, when I get a chance to. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and until the next video, which will probably be uh, the Thor. Ragnarok review or the Smackdown review if I do it so eat all those two videos so until though until the next video I'll see you all later